I was standing in front of a chalkboard in the photography studio at Penland School of Crafts. It was covered with numbers I was using to explain how a camera's shutter speed and the size of the lens opening work together to create proper exposure. I'm a good photographer, and I'd taught some one-day classes, but the school had taken a chance asking me to teach a two-week workshop. I was a little nervous. As I was talking, I was gently interrupted by a woman named Bonnie who said, I don't understand anything you're talking about. Can you draw a picture of this? I was stopped short. I thought I was explaining it just fine. But I took this in for a minute and then said, yeah, I can make a drawing. So I drew these circles representing aperture sizes and paired them with bars representing shutter speeds, showing that as the lens aperture gets smaller, the shutter has to stay open longer to let in the same amount of light. Then we talked about how the more you open up a faucet, the less time it takes to get a quart of water. Three ways of explaining the same thing. Like walking around something you're photographing to see it from different points of view. At the end of the conversation, they understood what I was explaining. And I understood that my job was to pay attention to each person and figure out what would help them learn and to make sure that everyone got different kinds of information. It wasn't just about words and pictures either. One person could work from a set of instructions. Another needed coaching as she physically did each step. Another would work until he got stuck and then come for help. We all benefited from using our hands, all of our senses, and both sides of our brains. Our class project, documenting a day in the life of Penland School, was terrific. <laughs>